Okay, let's continue. Let's move to the fourth point. The effect of flare. Uh, what do we mean by flare? Well, basically, basically the flare is the aperture of the horn. Okay, so yeah, we, later we will show you some some picture and you will understand it clearly. So for the moment, here, the explanation, the theoretical concept of the flare is showing is shown here, and there we go. Here we got three pictures. The first one is regarding the S parameter, so the antenna matching. The second one is about shows the gain, okay, the copolar component gain, not the cross polar. This one is the copolar, so the the desired component. We will explain it later. So keep in mind that this figure shows the gain, and then. At the bottom, we got the azimuth minus 3 dB bandwidth, and as you can see, in every single figure, it is shown the effect of the flare. So, to make it easier to understand, to make it precise, and here we got longer flare means more gain. Increasing the flare angle means bigger horn aperture, and therefore, bigger aperture means more gain. And for that, we got to make smaller the beam width Rel in relation with S11 the matching, the antenna matching, and as you can see here, S11 is changer. So, the flare allows changing the smoothness of the matching from the aperture to the free space. In other words, the flare is like a part of the antenna thought to adapt the cavity, the impedance of the cavity to the impedance of the free space where the signal will propagate. So now, finally, we are going to talk about phase center. Okay, there we go. Here, Regarding the phase center, we define the phase center as the point from which it appears that an antenna radiates a spherical wave. And in general, the phase center are unequal depending on the plane. For example, in the E plane, the phase center could be in some point and for H plane the phase center could be in a different point and this is due to not having a symmetrical or a pyramidal horn so this effect takes place just for not pyramidal antenna horn I mean just to make a fair comparison between both phase signals. This is so um, for this kind of application the phase center is critical. Okay, so with the theoretical concept already done, it's time to talk about application. And for that Firstly, we are going to make a general definition of a horn antenna. And it could be like just a hollow pipe of different cross section. The type 
direction and the amount of taper, in this case flare, can have a profound effect on the overall performance of the element as a radiator. And this definition, as you can see, is defined, is related with all the concepts that we defined and that we commented before. Moreover, and due to the behavior of the horn antenna, some application are large radio astronomy, satellite tracking, phase arise, reflector and lenses, and also a horn antenna are used for calibration and gain measurements of other high gain antennas. In addition, it should be said that the success resides in the easy manufacture in terms of mechanical design. That is the reason why horn antenna are used for this kind of applications. So now let's move, let's continue types of horn antennas. Okay, next. Here we got four main typical horn antenna. The classification is what you see, <laughs> and here we got pyramidal aperture, circular aperture, biconical aperture, and box aperture. So, starting from for the left, from the left, we got pyramidal. The figure is over there, and this is the most widely used horn the one which is flare in both direction okay then we got the circular aperture so as you can see this kind of antennas are fed by a circular waveguide and therefore the flare is also circular then we got biconical, biconical horn, and which consists of two cones with a common vertex, where the feeding is produced. And for this particular horn antenna, spherical modes describe the fields between the cones. And finally, we got box aperture, and for this case multiple waveguide modes are used to decrease the H-plane amplitude taper loss and axial length of the horn. So basically uh, this box aperture horn is used for multiple modes in order to reduce the antenna size. 